Atika Aslam hasn't seen her only son for six months. 29-year-old Faisal was arrested while walking to a pharmacy. For weeks, she didn't even know where he'd been taken. She's now on her way to the central jail in her hometown to get authorization for a visit. But Faisal is being held in a prison 800 miles away in Uttar Pradesh in India. Atika is just one of many Kashmiris anxiously trying to see a relative. In the immediate aftermath of India taking control of Kashmir, there was a sinister air on the streets, and the army is accused of a vindictive crackdown. Up to 4,000 people were detained, and many have still not returned home. As protests broke out, India put the region in lockdown, cutting off phone and internet access and limiting the movements of millions of people and their ability to access food and medicine in a curfew. Stones were thrown, people marched and chanted anti-India slogans. The army has special powers with an absolute right to detain anyone without charge or reason. Except it isn't supposed to arrest minors. 15-year-old Afan was picked up while he was walking to the mosque. He was one of more than a hundred children detained. He still wakes up at night screaming in terror at the interrogation and torture he faced inside a prison cell. He was me for 7-8 minutes. He was me for I not Afan says he couldn't stand up, but he was subject to yet another beating with a wire, and he struggled to get medical attention afterwards. Meanwhile, Artika has received authorization to visit her son. It will cost £300 to get there. That's more than a month's wages in Kashmir. Artika has no work, and she's racking up debts while her son is in prison. She's also anxious about his health because he previously suffered from a head injury. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi claimed the annexing of Kashmir would lead to a new dawn. His Hindu nationalist government continues to justify the act, saying the region was a hotbed of terrorism. <laughs> Atika's son is accused of disturbing the public order through stone throwing and instigating miscreants. She says Faisal has joined demonstrations in the past, but there weren't even any protests in the area when he was arrested. <laughs> For now, she doesn't have the funds to visit her son. Instead, she's preparing to send him a few things with another family in a similar situation. dry fruit Artika's difficulties aren't unique. Many other families in the region have a similar story. So will President Trump's offer to mediate between India and Pakistan make any difference to the people of Kashmir?